But yeah, what place did you get at the SmashCon? In SmashCon, I get my worst place ever. And another fun fact is that the last SmashCon from the last year, it was my worst position ever. <laughs> You're the second European guest that appears on the on the show. So, how would you say like is Europe like as a region? We need more super top players, but I feel it's not that bad. It's not that bad. Gluten is super negative. I, I know you both have like different ideas about this because I've heard like discussions about it. But of course, you know that Gluttony thinks that Europe is like in a weird spot, like talking about a Smash. Because, uh, well, he has his opinions, right? So, how would you say, like, is Europe, like, as a region? I don't feel it's that bad, actually. Like, I feel like uh, after uh, pandemic, uh, we were super bad. Super bad. Like, really, really bad. We didn't know how to play well the meta, the game meta in the world. But currently, I feel like we have a good top player base. Uh, like, I feel like... We're not that bad. We're not that bad. Like, definitely, you can see Tariq doing things outside. You can see Rough Flow. Uh, Andres is doing good things. Andres uh, recently in, in SmashCon, Smash he won Shuton. So you can see people from Europe doing good things outside. But, of course, uh, we would need, like, more super top players. Like, we don't have any super top players except Gluto and... Maybe me. I know that Bloom is uh, super, super good. Like, he always destroys me. And he could do super good, but he doesn't travel. He will, we will see him in poor priority. And I'm pretty sure that he can do amazing things. He can do... He can be definitely top 20. Or we will see if he can be top 10 in the world. But he has an amazing potential. And he's a child. So he's a kid. So that's broken. <laughs> <He's a child. laughs> that's broken. He's a kid. So yeah, that's broken. Yeah. That's broken. So we will see. We'll see. I feel like we can. We need more super top players, but like top, we can have more than like f five top fifty players in the world in Europe. More definitely, if they travel, definitely yes. I feel it's not that bad. It's not that bad. Gluten is super negative. Yeah, and I know that was what I was gonna mention because I know Blue tells are like, well, when we had him, he was like, yeah, they're improving, but. Like, they look suck. And I, I always, like, I always heard him saying, like, uh, yeah, they don't, like, you know, the meta, blah, 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 they play, blah, blah, blah. But, like, I'm going to say one thing. Uh, one thing about Gluto is that I feel like he's another type of player when you play him a lot. So that doesn't, like, he plays a lot with everyone in Europe and then he destroys everyone. But, bro, it doesn't count because if he plays with, every, with anyone in the world, I'm pretty sure that he will destroy everyone. I'm pretty sure. So, this doesn't count. Like, okay, you destroy everyone in Europe, but bro, because if you play with because everyone... Because you play them, yeah. Yeah, because you play them. If, if he plays a lot, someone, he wins. I don't know how, but he's a monster. Maybe Warrior is broken. But <laughs> I, I, maybe Warrior is broken. <laughs> Definitely Warrior is broken. Maybe, <laughs> maybe it's because Warrior is broken. But when he plays a lot, someone, he download him and he wins. And he yeah. has downloaded everyone in Europe. Everyone. Uh, so yeah, I he know. thinks everyone is bad. But because he destroys everyone, because he has downloaded everyone, but I think he could destroy everyone in the world. Or yeah, almost with everyone. Like, yeah, with almost. decent download, right? He's one of the best. Even I think the best player one of the best. thing. Yeah, yeah. Can be the best in the world. Yeah. Like he's in a in a one like in Europe is in general one of the worst regions in the world. And look what he does. Yeah. Look what Imagine he does. He, when he can beat everyone. Yeah. yeah, he can beat everyone. Maybe except Sonics and Akola, because the matchups are Zeus. But except that, almost everyone, yeah. or everyone. I agree. So, how would you say is the future for the for the European scene? Do you think, of course, like, I don't know, like they have to travel, they have to play like in against better players, blah blah blah. But would you say, like, they could, they they will get better, like in the future? Do you think Europe will become one of the strong, like one of the strongest regions? Mm, can be. I feel like we have. Uh, like Rufflo and Bloom definitely could do amazing. If they travel more and they got experience, I, I'm pretty sure they have an amazing potential. Uh, even more, maybe more like me currently. Uh, we don't know. But uh, they have a lot, a lot of potential. Like Rufflo and Bloom are very, very good. So we definitely can have four players like currently Gluto, me, Bloom, and Rufflo that if we travel, we could do amazing. Amazing, I'm pretty sure. And the rest of Europe is grinding. Like, we have a lot, a lot of players. A lot of players. 
So the player base is super big and that's very good for the community. So we will keep grinding and I feel like we have a very good future because if we have players like, okay, the level is important, but the most important thing is that we have players and we have community and we are doing things, you know? So recently we have been, the we have uh, been, we have done the best uh, tournament in Europe ever, the Terra. It was the best one because it was the biggest one with a lot of players and the top players from America, etc., etc. So, yeah, the future looks good for Europe. <laughs> I feel like it's going to be very, very good. Nice. Can't wait to go to UFA and, like, all the tournaments that uh, yeah. I'm going to do in there. That will be fun. Definitely. But... If, if not, sorry, if we are not talking about level, Europe is one of the best con- one of the best sites to compete outside of level in terms of community and... Uh, production, etc., etc. Europe is very good, very, very good. That. I'm looking forward to that 100. I can't wait. It's, gonna be so much <laughs> it's it's cool to hear that, like, like of course, even 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 though you see that like Bloom and Ruffalo have a lot of potential, even more than you. Like, uh, oh no, you've been breaking it. You've been doing great things. So, no. like, you're an amazing player too, and I can't wait to see like all the stuff that you can still do. Uh, that will be hype. Thank you, bro. Yeah. Thank you so much, Papu. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah. it's also, I believe it's in myself, too. Yeah, it's, it's, of course. It's cool to hear that, like, it's different. Like, the way you see it and the way Gluto see it when you guys are top two. But uh, in Europe, uh, that's, that's fine. Is there any player that you want to play? Mm, to beat or just to play? Uh, I guess both. Because you can play and also beat them. Mm, I, f- I want to play every snake in the world. I want to play hard. Because I never lost against a snake in my world, in my life, in my life after quarantine. Before quarantine, I was really bad, but I never lost against a snake. So it would be amazing uh, to play a heart that is currently maybe, if not the best snake, like the most famous snake right now, because he did amazing in the last uh, Japanese tournament. Uh, but I almost I wanted to play Twig again, and I wanted to play Kameme, and I did it, and I wanted to play T again because he destroyed me the other times with Kazuya and now I am super good in the matchup so I was like I'm gonna beat him I'm gonna beat him and I played him in in Smash Factor I was like yes because he, he knew that was that I probably was gonna beat him he knew that because he played me Kazuya and uh, in Smash Factor he didn't play Kazuya at first he tried to Pac-Man because he knew that I was very good in the matchup so I don't have anyone in my like my eye to beat. Yeah, on your I list. Just, yeah, I would like to play light again. I feel I can beat him, but it's hard, of course. It's a hard matchup and he's really good. Um, But I want to play light. I want to play you. I want to play Spargo. I want to play uh, every player in the world except Olimars. <laughs> except Olimars? Yeah. Everyone. Um, I, you, well, I guess this is just a question, but like, you're one of tweaks. Like, I don't want to say demons, but most of the time when you play Tweak, like he seems like he struggles against you. So I feel I am demon. I feel yeah, I am. Tweak you feel demon. like you're a demon. Yeah, every single time. Yeah, because... I feel like I feel like except for the first one on the Smash War Tour, I feel like every other single time you beat him, in right? Mm, I played like I played three times him. I played first time in the Smash World Tour, which was my first time in America. I had not experience and. He, he I, I won him one game, I think, but he, he it was 3 1, I don't remember. But he destroyed me. And and after that, um I played him in Ludwig Invitational and I beat him 3 1. And then I played him in Smash Fighter and I won him 3 2, but the last game was really good for me. I feel like he's ex- he's super scared about against Samus. I feel like he trained because he, people told me that he trained a lot to beat him to beat me. But he's still being scared about Samus. Like I feel like Didi is not a good matchup. Like Didi struggles against Samus. But I don't know. I saw too many, too many air dodge, air dodges, rollings that he usually never does because he's really good as a player. And I love how he plays. Uh but yeah, I feel like when he plays me, he he, he was scared. I feel I feel that he was scared. So that's why I feel like I am a demon demon bracket for him. Not because I beat him, because I won him the last time. Mm. Uh, but it doesn't mean that I am a demon bracket because I only won him the last two times. Yeah. But I feel like he's scared. 
So that's why. That's why. Okay, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget that every single episode drops on Metafight.gg on Friday. And if you just want to watch the highlights, you can do it on Luminosity Smash YouTube channel. And, well, thank you guys so much for watching.